Welcome to Ida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Ida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare stewed salt cod with Puerto Rican eggplant. Bacalao guisado con berenjena de Puerto Rico. The Spanish term for salt cod is bacalao. When my family mailed the white chayotes from Puerto Rico, they also included a striped rayada Puerto Rican eggplant. Another popular eggplant in Puerto Rico is the Rosita, where the skin color is solid pink. They both have a mild white flesh and a spongy meaty texture. My mother always cooked the eggplant until a creamy texture was formed. A YouTube cooking video for this version was posted about a year ago. This summer in Puerto Rico, my cousin prepared this dish by just cooking the chunks of eggplant until tender. Therefore, I am going to prepare her version of stewing bacalao with berenjena. Let's start cutting the eggplant. This is a Puerto Rican eggplant. The eggplant is an edible pear-shaped fruit that has a lavender skin color with white streaks and a mild white flesh. It is classified as a berry. However, it is served as a vegetable when cooked. The eggplant is believed to have originated in India. Let's pull the stem away from the eggplant and with a sharp knife Cut off both ends. Since the skin is edible, the eggplant is usually not peeled in Puerto Rico. Cut the eggplant into one half inch round slices. and then into quarters. Place the chunks of eggplant into a bowl and set aside. For your information, once the eggplant is exposed to air, it starts turning brown and that is okay. For this recipe, I will be using the salted pollock fillets as bacalao. This is the Buenaventura brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. You will also need Two special ingredients, sofrito, our parade condiments that is prepared in large batches, and seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. Here are two short videos on how to prepare sofrito for a single meal and how to create your own special blend of seasonings if you are not interested in using the seasoning packets. These are the chopped ingredients to make sofrito for a single meal. One garlic clove, one tablespoon of onion, two tablespoons of green pepper, two small or medium sized culantro leaves, or you can substitute with three sprigs of cilantro. One tablespoon of ají dulce sweet pepper, or you can substitute with cubanel pepper. The seasoning envelope with coriander and anato is a special blend of different seasonings, herbs and spices. Its main purpose is to add color and flavor to our tropical cuisine. This is the Goya brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. You can also create your own blend of seasonings by mixing the following ingredients into a bowl. 
one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of light salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and four teaspoons of paprika or four teaspoons of ground anato seeds. When a recipe calls for one seasoning envelope, add one and a half teaspoons of the mixed ingredients to your dish. This dish also calls for sliced onions. Use at least one to two yellow onions. Cut off both ends. And then cut the onion in half. Remove the papery skin and the first layer of the onion. Cut each half into one quarter to one half inch slices or the thickness of your preference. My cousin also likes to add culantro, also known as recao. The leaf is green with long, jagged edges. We just need to cut them into smaller pieces. We are now ready to prepare the stewed salt cod with authentic Puerto Rican eggplant. Pour one cup of extra virgin olive oil into a four quart saucepan, caldero. Add two minced garlic cloves. Two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Three sprigs of chopped cilantro. Two tablespoons of sofrito made with culantro. Two seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. And one culantro leaf cut into several pieces. If you don't have culantro, then increase the amount of cilantro to six sprigs. Stir all the ingredients until well blended and saute for three to five minutes over medium heat. After sauteing the condiments for a few minutes, let's add the sliced onions. the chunks of eggplant. I decided to cut the eggplant chunks into much smaller pieces. And one pound of cooked and shredded bacalao. I used the salted pollock fillets as bacalao. A link will be posted on how to cook and shred the bacalao. Stir until the bacalao, onions, and eggplant chunks are coated with the tomato oil-based sauce. Reduce heat to medium-low. Cover saucepan with lid and simmer for 20 to 30 minutes or until the eggplant chunks are tender stirring occasionally. Let's check the stewed salt cot with Puerto Rican eggplant after 15 minutes of cooking. This looks so delicious!
continue simmering for another 15 minutes. After cooking for a total of 30 minutes, the eggplant chunks are tender and still whole. Todavía los pedazos de berenjena están completamente enteros. You can see that the bacalao, eggplant, and onions are completely coated with our sofrito. It smells so good. This dish is absolutely ready. The stewed bacalao with Puerto Rican eggplant is usually served with our tropical root vegetables or breadfruit. My family in Puerto Rico made it possible for me to prepare this dish with authentic Puerto Rican eggplant. Muchas gracias. With my first YouTube cooking video, I used the Black Beauty eggplant that I cultivated in my garden. This variety of eggplant is not grown in Puerto Rico. I'm ready to taste this dish. Mmm. The eggplant Bacalao, salted cod, and onions are so tasty because they have absorbed all the tropical flavors from our condiments. Mmm, que rico! This is also a healthy meal with lots of protein. Mmm! The last step is to cook our root vegetables to accompany this dish. I am cooking ñames, yams. So later on, I'm going to have my ñames with my stewed bacalao. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare stewed salt cod with Puerto Rican eggplant. Bacalao guisado con berenjena de Puerto Rico. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.